Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Brittingham and Friends television program. I'm Linwood Jackson filling in for Mr. Brittingham. Uh, he's not feeling too well. He actually had surgery uh, not long ago. Uh, he called me last night, though, and, re and assured me that he was doing very, very, very well. So uh, we want to, you know, uh, um, get wish Brittingham a speedy recovery so he can get back on the show here and and do his thing you know uh, Britt uh, has some big shoes to fill and and I'll tell you what it's tough filling Brittingham's shoes man he's doing radio every week he's doing TV once a month he's you know he's uh, the president of the NAACP Wilmington's branch former president of the whole state for like over 20 years. You know, he's been broadcasting for, oh man, 15, 16 years as well. So uh, we're looking to get him back uh, on the air as soon as possible. Britt, get well soon, man. And uh, I just want to talk a little bit about what he's done for me. He got me into broadcasting. Actually, he's my biggest mentor in civil rights activism and uh, uh, in broadcasting. Uh, you know, he's like a big brother to myself and a lot of other people out there in the community as well. So, uh, um, you know, uh, we want to wish him uh, a very, very speedy recovery. He does have some functions coming up with the NAACP. I know they have the uh, oratory. Every year it's the annual uh, oratory uh, uh, competition for the young kids, school kids. Uh, we're going to show the flyer in a second. I want to make sure you guys are aware of that. 
uh, um, that uh, we want you to sign up now and make sure that you come out and, and participate in this, this contest for young people uh, and get their speaking abilities together. I think it's a $500 prize or something there. This is the Black History. This is uh, February's African American History Month. And, uh, but you know we talk about African American history all year long. So there's the flyer up on the board. You can contact uh, Britt. There's the number. Uh, everything's right there on this flyer here. And, uh, 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 and just sign up. And, and, and get involved. Get these young folks involved. High school students, uh, did, you know, 500-word essay. And my, myself and my guest today, uh, we're there almost every year. Uh, and I'm going to bring our guests right on because they got a lot to talk about, too. Uh, today, uh, on this half, we are going to speak a little bit about musicians, uh, artists. We opened the show uh, with a, a tune from a local artist. I grew up with this guy here, as a matter of fact. Uh, tribute to the ladies from Skip Borley Jr. He's on the show today. I have sitting next to him Mr. Lance Bruce from Wish, uh, uh, the, the singing group Wish. Two phenomenal performers, been performing for a long time uh, from Delaware, and I'm going to bring you right on in. Skip, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Linwood, how are you? I'm fabulously well, thank you, man. And Good we open the you. show with tribute to the ladies. Tell us about that. Uh, that uh, CD you got there, man. Wow. Um, did that CD with a young man up in New York named Charles Marez. <coughs> and uh, we uh, worked together on that song. It's been about a year, about a year now. Mm -hmm. And it's been doing pretty good over in Europe and uh, everywhere else but here. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's really a nice tune, and a lot of people liked it. Mm -hmm. I got a chance to perform it at um, P.S. DuPont in June of last year, mm -hmm. and it went over real well. And you got spending more time with my baby. We we showing that CD up there, man. Uh, how many CDs you been? You been pretty active here lately. Mm, yeah, this will be about my third or fourth CD I'm working on. I'm going to go in the studio again, and uh, do it some new material. So mm -hmm. yeah, we've been pretty busy. We've been lucky. Been fortunate enough. I'm um, calling Binky Bryson back down from New York. Matter of fact, I'm going to be using Lance mm -hmm. this time mm -hmm. on the vocals. Mm -hmm. How much you gonna charge me? Yeah, I know yeah, that's right. We'll talk about that. <laughs> you get a good one, Jackson. Discount, don't you? Uh, uh, but uh, uh, yeah, and and you guys been doing a lot of projects. Um, you know, I know Lance is in the studio as well. Yeah. Lance Bruce, welcome to the show, man. Linwood, it's it's a pleasure, man. I'm seeing you often now. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you're out there. Both of you guys are out there, very very active in your musical careers. You know, uh, this is the Charles Brittingham. Uh, show it's and uh, uh, or yeah. bring him and friends with Charles Brittingham as the host. Uh, you know he's sick uh, today, but, but he's getting better. And I wanted to invite you guys on because you know uh, Britt worked with him over the years right here in Wilmington, Delaware. And yeah. Lance, I know you did a lot of work at the NAACP with Britt. You well, were the vice president right, for a minute. Right. Um, I served as vice president, and he was really instrumental in uh, getting me uh, uh, acclimated to the NAACP. And what they do. He also uh, really got me, he was instrumental in getting me acclimated in working uh, uh, in the uh, radio station. You know, I co hosted the program, mm -hmm. uh, uh, his uh, radio program with him for about two or three years. Yeah, you WILM? Know, on WILM, yeah. 1450, he's 14, still 50, over there. Yeah, he's still there, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you know, I, I, I bowed, bowed out about maybe about a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to pursue my music, you know, because I was writing and producing and traveling, and it was just getting to be a little too much. And then I had some health issues on top of that, so, mm -hmm. um, you know, I kind of bowed out on the radio thing, uh, you know, uh, and maybe, you know, I'll go back. And from time to time, I, I go on there with him now, you know. To yeah, I get ready to say, you didn't bow completely out. No, You're no. still on air. You're yeah, I, I, from, from, mm -hmm. from time to time, I get to go on the radio with him, you know, uh, when, you know when I'm in town or mm -hmm. when I'm not, you know, busy uh, doing a lot of stuff, I'll, I'll get some time. Because it's important to stay up on the issues, man. Really. Absolutely, man. Uh, you know, using your platform. Uh, to get the message out and, right, and help our right, community, right. Uh, uh, it, it just it goes without saying. Yeah. Now you're a songwriter as well. Right, right. And tell us about the CD we just flashed on the, on the screen there. Well, uh, the uh, initial what is CD it from the heart. That that from the heart uh, CD was the CD uh, my very first solo mm -hmm. when I when I left the group Wish mm -hmm. vocal group Wish and pursued the solo career. Um, I wanted to pay tribute to a lot of the artists that I had worked with over the years. And that I listened to as a youngster, you know, people like the Temptations and the Four Tops and Smokey Robinson and, and the Futures and other groups that I had listened to as a child. Mm -hmm. But then when I became a singer, I was uh, fortunate enough, blessed enough to be able to open up for a lot of these artists 
as a uh, you know uh, opening act, you know, on a lot of shows with these different artists, you know, uh, from the platters, the contours, the vibrations. Uh, Have you worked uh, with uh, many many musicians from Delaware? Tell us about. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, some of the groups that I worked with, and I had to write some of them down over the years, uh, especially back in the '60s uh, and early '70s. The Dynamic Concepts, the Four Souls. My group, the Majestics, which was my high school group, mm-hmm. uh, which consisted of Ronnie Smith, James Chalk, Valerie Tillman, and Valerie's brother, LaRue Tillman. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, uh, Ernie Bernie and the Travelers, the Matadors, uh, the Upcomers, the Black Society, um, Eddie Knight and the Deltors, the Temptors. Skip Borley, I know you've uh, heard Skip of him. Skip Borley Jr., <laughs> yeah. we're going to start right there, man, because it looks like you got a long list. Well, it's, it's not there. that many more. <laughs> the Utiques. Uh, Alfie Moss and Dexter Coots. Alfie Moss and Dexter Coots. Wish, um, the here. Overtones, mm-hmm. which I was a part of both those groups, Wish and the Overtones, and Ray Avery Jones, mm-hmm. and last a group called the Doration. Ray Ray. Well, do you remember them, Skip? Yeah, of course, uh-huh. man. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. along with them, you have Ray, Ray Jones, uh, Terry Leak. Mm-hmm. So Sextet, uh, mm-hmm. Tony Big Cat Tony Smith, Depp. oh please, Tony, yeah, Gerald, yeah. Uh, Gerald now, Chambers. Talk about a, a horn it's just player. on and yeah. on. Now I've worked, I've worked, with, I've worked mm-hmm. with Tony. I've done shows with him, mm-hmm. and uh, um, you know he's backed me up on a few shows. But he's he was more jazz oriented. Yeah, but he's he, so versatile. Yeah, there's musicians, he, right? And then there's right. musicians. Yeah, and right. he you is. start talking about a musician, you yeah. put Tony up Tony. here, yeah. and then the class comes out here. A lot of people don't. A lot of people may not want to recognize that, yep, but yep. he's an excellent musician. Yep. He uh, was taught Tony, by uh, yeah. Boise, yeah. Mm-hmm. and Boise also taught That's right. Flipper Lowry. Brown. Boise, yeah. Boise, Boise Lowry. Yeah, Lowry. Boise Johnny. Lowry. Exactly. Mm-hmm. exactly. First heard that name mm-hmm. from Dizzy Gillespie when mm-hmm. I was out on the road with Crown Heights and Fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and Mr. Gillespie asked <laughs> us, uh, did we know Mr. Boise Lowry? Mm-hmm. And at the time, I didn't know who he was. Right. And mm-hmm. Mr. Uh, Mr. Gillespie said, well, then you're not playing anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's a great so, story, so man. That was it. But I finally met him through mm-hmm. Rose, um, through uh, Ray Jones. Mm-hmm. And uh, wow, mm-hmm. it was a great, it was a great, great experience. Mm-hmm. Skip, now you're a big time songwriter as well. Mm, big time? I, All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm giving it to you, man, because I know, and those of you who may not know, uh, Skip was singing with the Crown Heights Affair back mm-hmm. in the day at Big mm-hmm. Hits. Um, uh, uh, Enchantment. I want to know, if, if, you know, what kind of advice and do, would you give uh, 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 up and coming songwriters Writers and people that want to get in the music business? Yeah. Okay. I always say this. Listen, um, it's your dream, mm-hmm. so don't expect everybody to believe in your dream. Amen. Right. And Amen. that may come underneath your family. That may come under some of your best friends. Mm-hmm. Um, it's your dream. So live your dream. The other thing I would say that is important, learn as much as you can Amen. about the business. Mm-hmm. Amen. Wow. Especially Amen. publishing. Mm-hmm. You know, so and how important it is yeah. to get your material copywritten mm-hmm. down in Washington, D.C., you know, so that you get paid. Mm-hmm. You get paid your money. I know uh, that's right. A give lot, of, a lot of acts, advice. A lot of acts get signed, but they get ripped off. I was watching uh, T.I., you know, TLC, whatever they were, the, the TLC, rapper group, yeah. yeah, and they showed a little movie on them last night and showed how they got ripped off. The left they eye, signed, yeah. they signed, but they didn't have anything. So you have to own publishing. If you yeah. don't remember anything else, learn about publishing. From what I heard, you you, you get yourself a lawyer, entertainment lawyer, not an just, entertainment not lawyer, not just, just, just an entertainment lawyer. lawyer. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, can't be your regular. cousin, you know, yeah. divorce yeah. lawyer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> cousin <laughs> Henry. <laughs> you know, Uncle Joe, he was in music. He <laughs> no, knows about no, get yeah, himself yeah. A, a good legal representation. Yeah, and right. then back him up with somebody to watch yeah. him, another lawyer to watch the lawyer. Right. Yep. You know what I mean? If, and, if, if you, cover all those bases. If you have, if you have this dream of being a, a singer or, or a superstar, entertainer, and, mm. and your vision is to come up with a song and go in, and go in the studio and record that song and then take that song to a major label mm-hmm. and, and that's all you have to worry about, letting them handle everything else. If that's your dream, you're in trouble. Mm-hmm. You're not going to go too far as an as entertainer or as right. a singer. Or if you do, if you're lucky enough to get through the doors of a major label mm-hmm. like RCA or Motown or, or, or any of the other major Atlantic. labels, 
Yeah, you're you're Ooh, not yes. you're not gonna be there too long. You know, after maybe one or two hits, mm -hmm. you're out of there. Your name kind of fades, and nobody ever sees you. Mm -hmm. Next month, I celebrate 50 years of being in in, in the entertainment uh, wow. in, uh, industry. Really, mm -hmm. 50 years I've been performing. Is that old? Yep. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. No, so, that's so, good. so we appreciate you coming on to share these tips, <laughs> man. Longevity <laughs> in the music industry. No, yeah, um, but, but the point I'm trying to make is this: Had I turned my career over to major labels like RCA or Motown, I pr my name probably could have been as big as, say, Smokey or okay. or, or Michael Jackson or mm -hmm. somebody in that nature. Mm -hmm. But I chose to do everything at my pace. Mm -hmm. You know, all my copyrights, all my songs, I own 100 percent. Mm -hmm. All my licensing on all my songs, I own 100%. All of my uh, publishing, mm -hmm. I own 100%. So anybody that wa has to negotiate my music has to negotiate with me mm -hmm. and not with a major label, you know. I'm sure you Where they own it, what, 80% and you get 20%. Well, yeah, you know, you know um, so what, he's saying, what, what he's really saying is, look, mm -hmm. if you remember the Temptations, two of them died broke. Mm -hmm. um, right. uh, Marvin Gaye died broke. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of different artists end up dying broke because of the, uh, Jimi Hendrix was over in Europe. He died broke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so a lot of guys, you, you, know, you don't know it, but a lot of guys end up broke. Mm -hmm. And it's not just uh, singing. It's in sports as well. Mm -hmm. You know, exactly. a lot of athletes exactly. end up broke, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and not, not being well paid because yep. nobody took care of the business. And the other thing in the music industry, after 35 years old, you consider old. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Nobody, mm -hmm. you know. And then yeah. by this time, you've learned the business, so nobody wants to be bothered with you. That's why they look more at younger artists. Artists than they do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because they can manipulate guys. them, mm -hmm. and they yeah. don't know. They you know, we signed a contract, blah, 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 and that's what's happening. You know? Well, that's why we're having the show today, man, so you can get that information out. These young right. folks can listen and, and get this great advice so that they can stay in uh, the business uh, as well as you. And it's not just the music business. It's any business. You're in the right. arts, uh, right. uh, whatever. Right. Make sure you have good legal representation and don't the let nobody kill your dream the key now the, well wait a minute hold on hold on man so skip touched on uh sports there for a second i know okay. you and brick back in the day played some you, you played a little football did some sports yourself didn't you there skip who me yeah you you oh, skip yeah, more yeah, than yeah, <laughs> 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 back in the day 1960 which one call me anyway uh me right. and brick were in high school together mm -hmm. and brick was a senior excellent athlete Britt was very good in uh, track and football. Yeah. Yes, he yeah. was. Yeah. He was excellent. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, his family, you know, as well. And, uh, well, Britt was number 25. Mm -hmm. And seniors would give underclassmen their number. Oh. And he gave me his 25 mm -hmm. to wear for the rest of my, my career being at Howard High School. Okay. So, you know, that's why we always see each other. Say, what's up, number 25? What's mm -hmm. up, number 25? Now, there's a picture on, on the screen now where number, who, is that ain't you, is it? That's brick number 25. And if you go down, I guess, to your right, mm -hmm. I'm down here on this end. Yeah. Okay, well, in that you picture. You actually there. were out of the picture. I think you, you were further over yeah. on, the, oh, on okay. the left side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. That was a great picture of Brick, man. Yeah. It, back in the day, the number yeah. twenty-five. You know, pe people Beautiful really story too. People really didn't realize what a great athlete Brick was. He is, came is this that close. You skip? No, I'm down on the other side. He's on yeah, the, other, the side. other side of the but picture. We're gonna get it right. He came this close to to uh, getting an Olympic gold medal. He lost in the trials. In the Olympics, okay. I mean, in the hundred and the hundred yard dash. Okay, hold so on. We, we got a call. Hold on. Let me see what's going on here. Uh, we got the picture there. Is that, is that uh, that's me. All right, all right. Little, 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 skip, yeah. little Skippy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, uh, welcome to uh, the Bring Bringham and Friends Television Show. Hi, this is Tony Smith calling in. How you doing? Big cat, big Tony. Cat. Big cat, big cat. We doing good, man. Big How are cat. you? The big cat's in the house. All the right. big cat. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, man. We were just talking about you and uh, uh, Delaware musicians. Yeah, and I'm, you know, I was listening to you guys, uh, and uh, you know, thank you, Skip and, and Lance. You know, you guys are are premier vocalists, and I just thought I'd let you guys know that as an instrumentalist, my thing is to try to make my horn as give it as a much of a human quality as possible and I listen to guys like you to get me on that path. So well, very few um, very few musicians no, can you touch you, man. I'm telling you. For, for an instrumentalist. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. Now, Tony Big Cat, you're you're out there in, in the community uh, uh, traveling all over the world with your music and all. Um, and I know you 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 speak about civil rights as well. I know you did a lot of work with Brittingham. 
um, you know he's he's uh, recovering now from surgery, and uh, we wanted to do a show about the friends, uh, his friends, and the guys that work with him. I know you perform with NAACP every year. Yeah, I look forward to that every year. And uh, you know Charles Brittingham. Uh, first of all, I wish him, wish him a speedy recovery. Amen. You know he Charles is one of those special type of guys. He he when you talk to Brittingham, he makes you feel like you're the most important person in the world. Uh, and that's what kind of drew me to him. Uh, we met way back when I was like an advocate. Well, he was an advocate for a student up there in Claymont, and I was always into the community as a school administrator. And we were in a meeting across the table on different opposite sides, and that's where I first met him. And, uh, and the very first NAACP uh, uh, performance that I did was with a uh, guy named Lee Howe. Years ago, he was he was he yeah. called he called me to do a gig, and it was at the NAACP fundraiser. And ever since then, well, Lee Howe passed away eventually, and then I started doing uh, that program every year. So I look forward to doing that, you know, with Brittingham. You know, he just calls and gives me the date, and I say I'll be there. Don't worry about calling me back. I'll be there. <laughs> I know that's right. You've he been there ever does since. A great job, we certainly too. appreciate that too. And Tony, you also you wrote a book. Tell us about the book you wrote. Yeah, I wrote a book. Uh, uh, I co-authored a book with uh, uh, Will Smith's father, Mr. Will Smith Sr. It's called The Way More. It's uh, a story about a fictional jazz club called mm. The Way More, where you get way more than you bargain for when you come to that <laughs> jazz club. <laughs> so, way more. And that's the, the premise behind it. And it's a story of, uh, of the musicians who play there and uh, – and the folks who come to listen, and so that's where all the storylines uh, 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 come about. So it's called The Way More, W-A-Y-M-O-R, The Way More. I know, that's right. Look it up, guys. You can get it on Amazon uh, and all your bookstores on, yeah. on the Internet anywhere. Hey, now, Tony, you, you, I had a question. Perform, Tony. Oh, hold on, he can't hear you. I don't believe oh, you. Oh, is that supposed to be a movie. Is, is, are you going to make a movie out of The Way More? Well, we the, the last uh, that I heard, uh, Mr. Will Smith uh, Sr., I know he hasn't been feeling well, but it was in the hands of uh, way more of uh, uh, entertainment, uh, Overbrook Entertainment, and they actually sent us back a, um, a copy of uh, things that we needed to do in order to, to make it uh, uh, into a movie, some things that they suggested that we do. So we had some things that... That we're being worked on for that, so we're it's still in the works, you know. Through it all, you know, we had a good time uh, getting the storybook together and everything, and we're still working on, you know, doing what we need to do with it. So, but uh, I'm wishing uh, uh, Will Smith Sr. to get well soon, and uh, and we'll be back at it. Yeah, we hope. All so. right, man. We yeah. wish you great success with that movie. Now we're talking about uh, Delaware musicians. Um, in general, and I know you worked with a lot of great ones, uh, Robert Boise Lowry, yeah. uh, Clifford Brown. Tell yeah. us a little bit about your experiences with these great horn players. Okay, with these great horn players, or just great musicians in general. Right. You know, I, I was sitting here and I was thinking about, you know, uh, coming down a list of people who were, who influenced me. There were some people who influenced me, and they don't even know it. But I just I make a list of them. I go all the way back to my older brothers, Kendall and Harry. They came home with musical instruments, mm. and they didn't know I was listening to them. <laughs> Bill McKees, Mike Marshall, Arby Willis, Larry Williams, Gilbert Hunter, Greg Davis, Ajax. Ajax. Yeah, mm -hmm. Don Kuntz, Dexter Kuntz, Wilby, uh, uh, Billy Colburn, Gerald Chavis, Lee Howe, Dean Jenkins. These are all people. Lynn Foster, Rudy Kohler, Reggie mm -hmm. Kohler, Coleman yeah. Allen. Uh, Jazz Johnson, David Dixon, Dixon yeah. Wilson, mm -hmm. Tommy Ryan, the list goes on and on. And excuse me if I left out anybody's names, but they're all influenced me. I, every last one of them. Uh, Skip Butler, Wednesday <laughs> night. <Is> Skip Bordley, <laughs> <Les, laughs> <Same Les>, <laughs> Don Falk, Lance Bruce, oh, yeah. <laughs> Rick Jenkins, all those guys. These are all influenced to me. And even teachers, you know, all the way back to Miss Rollins in elementary yeah. school. Yeah. Mr. Grant, Mr. Mr. Bowie, Grant. Ms. McGowan, yeah. Yeah, uh, Mr. Too, Young, yeah. uh, Ms. Gunn, Mr. Randall, Hal Ship, Thad Jones, Bobby Timmons, Donald Byrd, and Boise Lowry. These all these are all folks that yeah. had a part in me doing what I do. Good so. job. <laughs> hey, Tony, Tony, Big Cat, 
yeah. Smith, man, we appreciate you calling in. I know you're out on the road right now, man, and uh, uh, but we want to thank you for taking time uh, to wish Britt uh, uh, well on his show and sharing a wealth of information uh, that you just shared with us, buddy. We come down to the wire and uh, uh, wish you luck, great success, continued success. All right, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Skip. Thank you, Hey, man. man thank you. Take, take care, Tony. Listen, All right. I did want to get in that um, we lost a great musician. He was a drummer, Mr. George Wilkerson. Um, he just passed away about a week ago, you know, and uh, just want to let the family know that we've been praying for him. Amen. That's it. George Wilkerson. George Wilkerson. Wilkerson. He played with uh, Papa D. Mm -hmm. Allen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Lynn, and, yeah. and, uh, Lynn Winchester. Mm -hmm. So they were, you know, excellent. Well, listen, guys, we're coming down to the wire, man. We've got a few closing uh, remarks. You want, want to get out there? Anything you want us to know? Uh, Skip, uh, tell us about your upcoming show you got coming. Oh, you mean my upcoming going in the recording studio? Well, you go. I got some new mm -hmm. material that I'm going to do, and I'm going to use Lance. <laughs> Lance <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I have about uh, it's about six or seven tunes that I'm doing mm -hmm. that I originally wrote that I'm going to do about two or three cover songs. Mm -hmm. Lady, you know, mm -hmm. by Lionel Richie. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I believe in you and me. And he uh, sang, he, now, he now took the house down with that one at the Long Show. Now he couple tears it down ago. every time. Yeah. Everybody knows Skip yeah. out there. Now, you had me on one of them songs, Skip. I hope I didn't mess it up too bad, man. Could I, uh, could I lend my voice to one more? Come on, Did Skip. I put you on there? <laughs> <laughs> Did I put you on there? Yeah, with Sugar. Oh, oh, you remember you the song you I put you on? I remember, no, you forgot, I remember what I put you on. <laughs> <laughs> I remember exactly what I put you on. <laughs> Lance, what you got coming up, man? Well, uh, we both on July 26th. Uh, we have a uh, 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 R&B Soul Funk Fest coming to the city of Wilmington, um, being sponsored by the city of Wilmington, uh, and also sponsored by uh, uh, our group, the uh, Old School Wilmington R&B Soul and Funk uh, Entertainers. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we're looking forward to working with some of the, the top superstars. Skip will be performing, I'll be performing our, our different shows, mm -hmm. as well as Lakeside, um, Breakwater, mm -hmm. And Rick James is a Stone City band. They'll, they'll also be on, on the show. And a reunion of the Naz band, which is still in the works. So right. uh, You're talking about as soon as the contract gets signed. Soon as the <laughs> I, ain't got no, I got no deposit yet. <laughs> All right, ladies and but, gentlemen. But, but uh, 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 Breakwater, Lakeside, yeah. and uh, Stone City band are committed. They will be there. All right, and right. I want to thank Mayor Williams and also the uh, Cultural Affairs Director, um, Ken uh, Briscoe, for helping us put this thing together. We wanted to be able to uh, make sure that all the entertainers in the city of Wilmington, like Big Cat, like Skip, like myself, and others uh, who perform in this area get the recognition and all the right. pay that, that, we, that, that we deserve. All right, that's why we got you on the show, man, to give you guys some recognition. We want to thank you for coming on again, and uh, we're going to take a break right now and, and bring on our, our next guest uh, for the next half of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, you listen to uh, the Brittingham and Friends television program. We wish him Britt well uh, from all of us to you. Get well soon, bro. We need you back Get well, on Britt. here. Get and, well, uh, Britt. Uh, and, and uh, again, I want to thank you guys for coming on. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to a stage near you. Skip Bartley Jr., tribute to the ladies, and Mr. Lance Bruce from the heart. Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. The Legacy Exists Joe Frazier Scholarship Fundraiser. Help keep Joe's spirit alive. Come be a part of the special event on Friday, March 11th, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Penn's Landing Caterers, 1301 South Christopher Columbus Boulevard, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Come out and help celebrate 45 years of Ali vs. Frazier, Fright of the Century. Hosted by radio personality Patty Jackson. Band performance by UGO, Urban Gorilla Orchestra. With special guest Cedric Napoleon, bass player. Great food, drink, vendors. Come see guest speakers Larry Holmes, Ed Rendell and other celebrity guests. Continue Joe's legacy of supporting youth in Bucks, Chester, Delaware, Montgomery, and Philadelphia counties. Purchase tickets online for $60 or $100 for two at thelegacyexists.com. Legacy exists.
Joe Frazier Scholarship Fundraiser. Or you could check us out at thelegacyexists.com. In association with Big Cats, Last Round Foundation Incorporated, and the Prince Marketing Group. Thank you. 